It seems like this transfer window will have a crazy, crazy end to it. First talks of Mbappe to Real, those are becoming more legitimate as time goes on. And now, Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester City. Hey, I'm Adrian, and welcome to Rabona TV, or welcome back to Rabona TV if you're already a subscriber, which if you are, shout out to you, man. Thanks for the support. So in this video, we're gonna go through the Ronaldo rumors with a fine-toothed comb. Try to look at it from a chronological point of view, including his former affiliation with United, the circumstances that have led to these rumors, and just how credible they are, or how likely it is that Ronaldo ends up at City. And I'm telling you, at this point, it's seeming pretty likely. In fact, it's sort of seeming all but guaranteed. Shall we? One thing people point to immediately is, wait, Ronaldo would never do United dirty like that and go to City. And while I'd love to believe that this sort of loyalty still exists in football, I just don't think that it does. It's not as commonplace as it used to be. But on top of that, I feel like Ronaldo's loyalty lays more with Sir Alex Ferguson than it does to Manchester United. Both Ferguson and Ronaldo have spoken about how they have a father-son type relationship. And I think that Ronaldo would feel bad in some ways if he was to join City. But I also think his competitive nature and drive to win the Champions League again, to be at the top of football, outweighs that. People like Wayne Rooney speak of him not wanting to risk his Old Trafford legacy, but I believe Ronaldo's mentality would be, who cares? My legacy, the trophies and awards I've won, my legacy belongs to me, not Old Trafford, not Manchester United, but to me. I mean, he wanted to leave United one year earlier than he did, called himself a slave there, etc. Real was always the dream club for Ronaldo. United, they developed him into a fantastic player, and I'm sure he will always look back on his time at United with a fondness, but they ultimately provided a bit of a stepping stone on his way to Real Madrid. Plus, and this is me speculating of course, his best years were actually spent at Real Madrid, so I'm sure it would be much harder for him to sign for Barca than it would to be to sign with City. You know what I mean? And he wouldn't be the first to play for both sides, by the way, all managing to maintain their legacies to varying degrees of success, with Tevez being a 1 <laughs> and Cole being a 10 on the maintaining legacy charts. He initially moved to Juve because they showed interest in him, and he saw it as a way to move to another country to win more trophies and perhaps be the finishing touch on their Champions League ambitions. It didn't work out, we'll go into the wages etc later, but Manchester City provides yet another opportunity at winning the Champions League, at potentially being the finishing touches on that squad. One thing is for certain, both Messi and Ronaldo monitor each other's situations, and this is simply my guess at things, of course, but I think that they have made decisions during their careers that were affected by the other individual. Part of me wonders if Messi would have ever returned to the Argentina national side if Ronaldo hadn't won Euro 2016 a couple weeks after Messi had retired in June of 2016. Two months after retiring, Messi was back with the Argentina national side. Two months after Ronaldo had won Euro 2016, he's back in. Now, with Messi joining a side that has a genuine chance at winning the Champions League and bringing Messi up to five titles, the same as Ronaldo currently, perhaps Ronaldo sees City, last year's finalists, as a great opportunity to join a side and be that finishing touch once again. Maybe this is why he's pushing his agent, Georges Mendes, to make this move happen. That's, that's speculation. I'm not going to be one of those journalists that says, oh, this is what I think and tries to play it off as fact. No, this is speculation for me. But I do think there's something to be said of the rivalry between Messi and Ronaldo that still exists, no matter how they try to downplay it. That, plus the fact that Ronaldo wants to win everything, and he can potentially do that at City, where a bunch of circumstances have all come together to potentially pave the way for this deal. Anyone who says that this move is for money, guess again. This is a move that would be made for competitive reasons, for sporting reasons. The financial situation at Juventus is an interesting one. They can't spend as freely as they would perhaps like, and just as we've seen with plenty of Italian teams, even their own deal for Locatelli is one of those, you know, loans with intentions to buy type of deals where they pay a fraction up front and kick the rest of the fee down the line. So there's that aspect of things. Then there are the rumors that have been bouncing around for a year or so about how Juve would be open to selling Cristiano Ronaldo because of his 30 million euro annual salary. That's a massive chunk of change. And during a pandemic, a massive financial burden. Plus the amortization of his initial transfer fee that they owe to Real Madrid. Ronaldo is costing them a lot of money. 
Those rumors stuck around for the better part of a year that they wanted to get rid of him. Prior to the Euros, they were still evident. You know, it became clear that maybe he might go to PSG or something like that. Following the Euros, we had plenty of talk of Ronaldo wanting to leave, Juve wanting him to leave, and a potential return to Real Madrid being on the cards. Of course, their public position was always that Ronaldo wouldn't leave because what salesman publicly says, hey, yeah, one of our top assets, <laughs> we want to get rid of him. <laughs> that would be transfer fee suicide, aka a great way of driving the price right down. Prior to Juve's 21-22 season opener, it was revealed that Ronaldo, who was fully fit, would start on the bench against Udinese. According to Fabrizio Romano, he said that this was a direct request from Ronaldo as he is searching for other opportunities in the market. Take what you will from that. And so the circumstances that have led to this, potentially of course, for Manchester City, well, there were talks of Holland. There was the pursuit of Harry Kane, and now there's Ronaldo in Manchester City's very public pursuit of a striker. With Daniel Levy demanding 150 million pounds for Harry Kane, and Kane announcing on August 25th that he would be staying with Tottenham for another season, and with Holland not moving until next summer, which Dortmund have stood by, then suddenly an opportunity that could benefit all parties has come to the fore. Manchester City could get a proven goal scorer, Juve, could get a massive wage off their books, Ronaldo could move to a top contender for the Champions League. I mean, this could be the ultimate marriage of convenience. Before we get back to City, I'd be remiss to not speak of the other clubs that are being linked with Ronaldo. Apparently he has been offered to Manchester United as well, and if they turned him down, if he even was actually offered to them, then that's on them, I guess, and would likely be a get out of jail free card that he could play in the future. To, to some extent, it would, I mean, it wouldn't fool all supporters of United. There's been rumors of him going to PSG, though on Thursday, August 26th, Nasser himself put an end to those rumors by saying that Ronaldo never was or is an option, but apparently PSG are willing to talk with Real Madrid about Mbappe, so maybe Ronaldo? I don't know. Now, of course, there were talks of him moving back to Real Madrid, which were quickly dealt with by Ancelotti, saying that they are not looking to sign Ronaldo. Ronaldo had also released a statement that said nothing really, just that the media were throwing his name around and that he was focused on his career. He never mentioned that he would stay. Similarly, prior to the Euros, he made a massive post about how he had accomplished his mission in Italy by winning everything. And honestly, that felt like a goodbye, but it wasn't, at least not at that point. So Manchester City is a marriage of convenience, yes, but there seems to be some work to do. Mendes has met both with City and Juve, apparently, to discuss this deal. Allegedly, Ronaldo has spoken to Pep already to see where he would factor in, and Ronaldo has allegedly agreed to personal terms with City, which are apparently at around 50% of what he was, <clears throat> as of now, is making at Juventus. One of the snags has apparently been that City want to take him for free, or at least they tried to shoot their shot to try to get him for free as a favor, if you want to look at it that way, for helping Juve get his wages off the books. No shot there. But I can't see City shying away from the 25 to 30 million that Juve are asking for Ronaldo. Wild to think he'd go for that low, but it goes to show the state of Juve's financials, I guess. Or at least, I guess it more speaks to the weight of Ronaldo's wages and amortization. So anyways, as I was writing this script, two things happened. First, we had Gianluca De Marzio saying quite definitively on Sky Sports Italia, it's over between Cristiano and Juve, that he won't play for them again. And then we have Fabrizio Romano tweeting a picture that was taken on a 2002 Nokia flip phone of Jorge Mendes apparently returning back to Porto, and then tweeting that Ronaldo has informed Juve that he wants to leave, that he wants to be sold, and that Juve are waiting for the official proposal from Manchester City. We also had a Portuguese journalist saying it's a done deal. Plenty of transfer quote unquote insiders saying that this is happening. But I'm going to pass this on to editor Adrian to bring it home and include all updates from overnight because of time zones. Good morning. <laughs> Limited sleep, pre-gym, editor Adrian here. Um, so yeah, just to give you guys a quick update on what happened while I was sleeping. Not much, really. It seems like this transfer is up and running, though. It seems like it is going to happen. The latest that I've seen that's been tweeted by the likes of, you know, Fabrizio Romano, etc., is Cristiano Ronaldo has allegedly left Juventus training center after 40 minutes to say goodbye to his teammates. He only wants to leave the club in the next hours. No training today. 
Ronaldo is waiting for Mendes to bring the official bid as it's still verbal with Man City. And then on top of that, of course, you know, if Ronaldo's leaving, if he's outgoing, that's a big hole. That's a big gap. That's a lot of goals that they need to make up for in the squad because he's, he still scored a ton last season for them. So, you know, Juventus are in contact with Everton's Mozaken. This is also from Fabrizio Romano. This is also a rumor that's been going around that said by a lot of uh, transfer journalists, actually, that Mozaken is going to be the guy that Juventus potentially go in for to try and bring him back. He had a decent season last season with PSG. He's back at Everton for now. He didn't seem to be very happy at Everton prior to that. So we'll see. It looks like it could be Mozaken. A lot of people are saying it could be Gianluca Scamacca. But I think what is, I won't say a guarantee yet because you never know what will happen, but what is close, let's say it's about 90% certain at this moment, is that Ronaldo will be going to Manchester City. There's maybe a 10% chance that this breaks down somewhere. And if it is to break down, it's not going to be on Ronaldo's part because I think that personal terms have been agreed. It's going to be that transfer fee between Manchester City and Juventus, but it seems like they're going to get it over the line. It seems like there's enough desire from both sides to get this done. From all sides, I should say. So yeah, that's that. It looks like, I can't believe this. I can't believe that Cristiano Ronaldo is going to Manchester City. Um, you know, I grew up watching him, uh, watching him at Manchester United in 2003, a stringy little boy with stringy hair. Um, so it's, it's going to be weird seeing him at Manchester City, but it's... It's interesting. It's it's really an interesting thing. Will it be a perfect fit? I don't know. Do I think that he'll still score goals? Yes. But at what cost to Pep's sort of system? Because Ronaldo can't really press very well. He can't really play in a pressing system very well. Or maybe he can. Maybe he'll prove us all wrong. So let's just wait and see. But anyways, guys, I thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss further videos. We'll probably do a video confirming all of this once all the, once all the quotes are out and everything like that. So do stay tuned. Subscribe if you're new. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you didn't, drop a dislike. I'm off to the gym, but I'll see you guys after. Love ya. Bye.